Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. So as a lot of you know, I'm getting married in a few weeks, which is a little bit cray cray, but I'm getting all sentimental and domestic and making a lot of DIY fun things for my family and friends. So I want to make something special for my parents and my sister to really thank them for being so supportive all my life. And of course, for putting up with me as a bit of a bridezilla. And obviously my mind went to food. So I decided to make a little DIY cookbook that features some of the recipes that I grew up with that really reminds me of being a kid at home. But with a little Abby twist on it. I partnered up with my friends at HP to put together this little passion project of mine all on my own. And it's so awesome because, you know, I've been so busy planning this wedding and they have this amazing HP Instant Ink subscription service that detects when I'm running low on ink and it'll automatically send it to my door so I don't even have to think about it. Plus, it's actually saved me money on my ink, about 50% every single month, which is awesome because I can actually put that money towards my honeymoon. Big bonus points about that. Plus, Plus the prints are really high quality, so it's great for a keepsake like this. So I wanted to show you one of the recipes I'm sharing with my family for my cookbook. This is my vegan pesto pasta salad, and it was inspired by my dad's basil garden. Because when we were growing up, my dad was always so proud of his basil crop, so we always made a big batch of, of cheese-free pesto. And the funny thing about it, it wasn't because my dad didn't know that cheese usually goes into pesto, it was because my mom had this really strange phobia of cheese. We were not allowed to have any cheese in the house growing up, believe it or not. That's a whole other video, we'll get to it sometime. But first we gotta make some pesto. So I'm keeping it vegan just like my dad, and it starts with some fresh basil. You don't wanna waste any of this stuff. So I'm using a combination of pine nuts, which is traditional, and some almonds, because I love the flavor of the almonds. So in we go. Garlic, of course, that's also traditional in the pesto. A little bit of lemon juice, a little pinch of salt, some cracked black pep, and this is my little secret ingredient here. So I've got some beautifully ripe avocado. And you don't actually have to add any oil to this pesto, which I really like, because I find a lot of traditional pestos kind of oily and gritty. This one, super smooth. So I've cooked off my pasta, and I'm using a gluten-free pasta because my sister's been told to kind of adhere to a gluten-free diet. But honestly, you can use any kind of pasta that you have. It's a shortcut pasta, and whole wheat would be great as well. All right, now let's get that pesto action down. So good. So I've got some chickpeas here, some colorful tomatoes. Look at that. So good. And then I've got some olives here, and the olives are really great and briny and salty, and this will make up for that missing cheese. My parents are going to love this. All right, I'm gonna go in for a little taste here. We gotta make sure it's okay for my parents. Mm. So good. And this is great, because I've got a few more weekends before my wedding, so this is gonna keep me in tip-top shape. I've got lots more recipes to create, so if you like what you see, of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow along with me, because I'm gonna be sharing two more of the great recipes that are in my little DIY cookbook. Leave me a comment below about one of your family's favorite foodie recipes, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen.